Pastor Chris. We're here. Pastor Chris, who happens to be my man of God, has been a source of blessing through the course of this youth conference. My life has been impacted, my life has been charged up. I tell you, when I go back to Zaria, wow, the city of Zaria will feel the impact of what God has used the man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, to do in our lives. I tell you, this generation is privileged to have such a man sent from God. He told us some time ago that success is about impacting your world with the investment of your personality. That is what he has done. He has impacted us with life. He has brought life. Indeed, he's the light of men. Indeed, he's the man sent to this generation. I am grateful that God has brought him into our lives. Really, he has affected our lives. Really, we are going back to give the world something. Indeed, there is something that we carry. Pastor Chris, I am grateful. You will not know how much of our lives you've impacted. You will not know how much of us you've touched. But really, one day, someday, we'll write about you. We'll tell the world that you are the one that has brought this grace out of us. Thank you, our man of God. The Bible says in Acts chapter 2 and verse 17, And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. These are the last days, and God has indeed poured out His Spirit upon all flesh. The unprecedented works of the Spirit of God have swept through nations and peoples. God is raising a mighty generation of men and women ready to take the world by storm by teaching them the Word of God through the man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, who by the Spirit of God empowers many and puts in them the boldness of the Spirit. Sit back and enjoy this. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Make pupils of the nations. Make students of the nations. Show them how to live. Real leadership means that you influence people to make the right decisions. God wants this world changed for Jesus Christ. God wants this world blessed. God wants things better in those families. God wants things better in those nations. God wants a change. It doesn't matter what the affliction is. When we pray in the Holy Ghost, when we speak in other tongues, and we are stairs, you come to the moment, you shout! Hallelujah! Glory to God! In this episode, the man of God, Pastor Chris, spoke on prophecy. He started by stating that God has given us tongues of fire as symbolic with the tongues of fire in Acts chapter 2 and verse 3. He also mentioned three types of prophesying and expatiated on them. Oh, hallelujah! And guess what? Oh, think about it. Think about it. On the day of Pentecost when the Holy Ghost came on those disciples, the 120 of them in the upper room, the Bible says the Holy Ghost came upon them as tongues of fire sat upon each of them. They were filled with the Holy Ghost. Tongues of fire. He's given us tongues of fire. Hallelujah. The tongues of fire on their heads were only symbolic of the tongues of fire in their mouths. He said, in the last days, saith God, I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. He said, the old men shall dream dreams, the young men shall see visions. Upon my servants and upon my handmaidens in those days will I pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Hallelujah. Then came Paul, and Paul said, we speak wisdom. Hallelujah. We speak wisdom. Hallelujah among them that are perfect not the wisdom of this world or the princes of this world that are falling down but we speak the wisdom of God in esoteric language ay, 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 hallelujah he said we speak the wisdom of God even the hidden wisdom 
which God ordained before the world unto our glory which none of the princes of this world knew for had they known it they would not have crucified hallelujah oh glory to God we speak that wisdom when we say you are blessed you are blessed hallelujah when we say you are healed you are healed when we say you are changed you are changed can you shout amen somebody oh, Lord, 